All right, welcome back. So we got our timer working. We can pause it. We can start it again. But we run into a problem where we need to go from session to break and, of course, break back to session. And right now we've got our session set really short so we can see the functionality in action. And, uh, yeah, there's a big problem there. It just resets to counting down from an hour. So we got to figure out a way to um, switch it over. So how do we, would we want to do that? So basically, when we initialize our original timer, we're doing this step here where we set uh, time, you know, our piece of state of the actual time uh, to the session value. But we want to switch it over to the break value. And the way we do that is through the lifecycle methods. So React has a bunch of them. And um, the latest documentation suggests using something called a component did update. And that takes. Uh, previous props. Go look at it on the React website. Component did update. Previous pops, previous state, and snapshot. So we can use the previous state, maybe. We can try that. So it takes in previous props, previous state. And maybe we can say if our previous state dot time equals zero, and remember we have a mode here of session. So I can control some of our labels and stuff. And we'll say and prev state that mode equals session. So when that clock hits zero and we're in we're in session mode, we want to do something. So we can say this dot set state time. Now we'll set time to this dot state dot break value. And but remember we need to times it by sixty times a thousand to get our milliseconds. And then we can say our mode is now break. Remember our mode we pass into our timer and it has to, it gives our label here. And that's the main purpose of that mode. Plus this now, the mode also gives us the ability to check for it here. Cause just because time equals zero, we don't know, we, how would we know which time to plug in break or session? Cause when break goes to zero, we also need to bring it back over to session. So by having this mode state, we can monitor that. Well, now we can say the free state that time equals zero. And pre state that mode was break. Then we're going to go. It's not set state time is 
is this dot state dot session value times sixty times one thousand and bring the mode over the session again. So with those two functions we should be able to switch over automatically. Now when we count down, we should see a change. And there we go. I went to five. Oh well, what if we what if we only want our session to be to be one? Will it automatically update it correctly then? And yes it does. And we'll give this a second to count down. And we'll look at our next task. We also want, we need an audio element to beep every time countdown reaches zero. And the beep needs to be a second or longer, and it needs to stop playing when we hit reset. So we're going to start thinking about that. Um, right now. Now I have a file. You can use any audio file that you want. I happen to have a file that you can use. Um, in my, I put it up in my AWS bucket. Okay, it's working. Back to break. So they want us to include an audio element. So we'll just do an audio element. ID of beep, I believe it was. Yes, ID of beep. I'm going to give it source. Um, I'll leave this in the comments for this video as well. And it's, it'll be in the link to the source code as well. Unless you can, you can always type it right off the screen. You can just pause the video and type it as well. But this is a, I believe it's like a three second long sort of my mellow beep that I found. So, we also want to give this a ref. Now, a ref is just a reference to the actual underlying DOM element. And you can do it either, you can call this whatever you want, element, ref, but you want to say this dot audio equals element. That's just a very simple way. Without getting into all the details, we want to reference the actual DOM element so we can do uh, audio has a lot of built-in JavaScript API stuff and we want to use like play and uh, I believe it's pause or stop. We want to be able to use the underlying JavaScript and you have to use an element or reference like this to be able to do it. So in any event, now we have our this.audio. So we can go back up here. We also want to do this dot audio dot play in both of these instances. And when we hit that reset button, we want to. It says it wants to rewind it. 
So we do this value dot current time zero and uh why don't we do this dot audio uh, I can't remember if it's stop or pause. Pause. This dot audio dot pause. You can look up documentation that I usually use the MDN Mozilla Developer Network, and you can find out different attributes. These are the attributes. It has. Why is this so zoomed in? You can find out the different attributes it has here. Usually, uh, this is more of a HTML. This is a better reference here. This is our play, our pause, and uh, see our current time sets or returns the current current time. So this is a good site that gives you the vid that current times five, where you can set it, and that's what we're doing. So you can look into that on your own, but we've got our basic setup here. And I guess we'll test it out. Save it. Yep. So we got our beat, which is cool. And just to double check, we'll put our break value down to point one as well. Where we can check our system's functionality here without waiting around forever. Okay. Okay, what about our reset button? Is that going to stop the beep? It appeared to, yeah. So, we run these tests. These tests, I'm not 100% sure on. Um, some of the tests may fail, uh, even though we clearly are doing what they want. Um, we got 27 out of Timer label. Timer label indicates session doesn't initialize the IG session. Well, that's what our says. When session countdown reaches zero, new countdown should begin counting down from the value currently displayed in the break link element. Point one instead of five. Okay, maybe we want to. Switch these back to what they're supposed to be and then try running the tests. So, in any event, we've got our Power to War clock built. Um, I may make a bonus video that uh, shows some visualization. Uh, you can always use a HTML progress bar. So we got 28 out of 29. Uh, like time left. Be 
default timer label was not properly reset. Well, that's the session, right? Where's that reset? So maybe if we add in mode session. That's what keys are that label. So maybe that maybe that'll help pass it. I'm not too worried about one little test because I'm pretty sure it's doing what it's supposed to be doing. Um, there we go. We got all our tests. Perfect. So that's cool.